15 Effective Financial Advice Quotes from the Psychology of Money Doing well with money has a little to do with how smart you are, and a lot to do with how you behave. A genius who loses control of their emotions can be a financial disaster. The opposite is also true. Ordinary folks with no financial education can be wealthy if they have a handful of behavioral skills that have nothing to do with formal measures of intelligence. Money is everywhere, it affects all of us, and confuses most of us. To grasp why people bury themselves in debt, you don't need to study interest rates, you need to study the history of greed, insecurity, and optimism. I love Voltaire's observation that, history never repeats itself, man always does. It applies so well to how we behave with money. People do some crazy things with money. But no one is crazy. Your personal experiences with money make up maybe 0.0000001% of what's happened in the world, but maybe 80% of how you think the world works. We all think we know how the world works. But we've all only experienced a tiny sliver of it. We all do crazy stuff with money, because we're all relatively new to this game, and what looks crazy to you might make sense to me. But no one is crazy we all make decisions based on our own unique experiences, that seem to make sense to us in a given moment. Luck and risk are siblings. They are both the reality, that every outcome in life is guided by forces other than individual effort. If you give luck and risk their proper respect, you realize that when judging people's financial success, both your own and others, it's never as good or as bad as it seems. When things are going extremely well, realize it's not as good as you think. You are not invincible, and if you acknowledge that luck brought you success, then you have to believe in luck's cousin, risk, which can turn your story around just as quickly. The trick when dealing with failure is arranging your financial life in a way that a bad investment here and a missed financial goal there won't wipe you out so you can keep playing until the odds fall in your favor. There is no reason to risk what you have and need for what you don't have and don't need. There are many things never worth risking, no matter the potential gain, 